Veronica. So Veronica. Who is Veronica? She is the one who wiped the face of Jesus. Saint Veronica is known as the woman who offered a cloth to Jesus so he could wipe his face on the way to his crucifixion. Yes, because uh, we, every time we have the cross, we say Veronica wiped the face of Jesus, right? Then, uh, which gospel Veronica name is written? To be honest, I don't know because <laughs> I have the Holy Bible with me, but not the Apocryphal Bible. So I always think it's in the Apocryphal Bible. Right? But I've never read the Bible. But what about we have four gospels? <laughs> uh, Do you yes. think his name, her name, is not there in that in gospel? In the four gospel, I didn't find her name. Oh my God! You read that? Yes. You read and you didn't find. Yeah, my name is uh, NIV version, but I didn't find. I even my search to be honest. Oh, oh. Yes. that's great. Huh? You at least you said something. Yeah, search and I didn't find. Okay. So actually, Veronica name is not in Bible, and Veronica name is not a name of a person. Then? Yes. So that is interesting because Jesus. When this lady came and gave this cloth to wipe face, Jesus gave his photo, right? His image. The girl who offered the veil earned the name Veronica because she bore the Veris icon or the true image of the Lord. Veronica means it is of two words, vera icona. Vera is Latin word, which means like a true. Icona in Greek means icon. Icon means like image or a picture. True image translation. Vero icona means like a true image. A, po a lady who is possessing the vero icona become Veronica. So, so she has a true image of Jesus, true picture of Jesus. That's why this lady got that name Veronica. So <laughs> that's why it is not written because that anonymous name. But this lady has the true image of Jesus. Saint Veronica is not mentioned in the Bible, but is known by Catholic tradition and at the sixth station of the cross, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Tradition holds that as Christ was walking to Calvary, his face dripping with sweat and blood, Saint Veronica, a bystander, was moved with compassion. She approached Jesus and offered him a cloth which he accepted and used to wipe his face. The image of his face was subsequently imprinted on the cloth. There are no stories from the period which speak of Veronica, either before or after her act of compassion. We do not know when she was born or when she died. And you know what is the patron saint, Veronica's patron saint for? Photography. <laughs> St. Veronica is the patron saint of laundry workers and photographers. Her feast day is celebrated on July 12th. <laughs> Veronica is the pattern for photography. And all people, all the images, artists and all like that. So, and also many other things also. I guess I have to thank you. Yes, yes, <laughs> from now onwards you have to take <laughs> some of the images, okay? So that is about Veronica. So I like that story very well. So I happy. Yesterday I was telling oh, yeah. sister recorded. I thought like let us record little more. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good. So now at least you know the name. So even if you search other Bibles, you will not get that. So because it is not the name of a person, it is attribution. Because this lady is possessing the true image, where you icona become like a Veronica. So shall we pray? Yes. So you know. Lord Jesus. Change me, transform me. May people see in me the living image of yourself. You know Veronica. She is every woman who ever became your faithful disciple. She is the one who always knows what to do, quiet and boundless in generosity. Jesus, Saint Veronica served you on the way to Calvary by wiping your beloved face with a towel on which your sacred image then appeared. She protected this treasure and whenever people touched it, they were miraculously healed. 
I ask her to pray for the growth of my ability to see your sacred image in others, to recognize their hurts, to stop and join them on their difficult journey, and to feel the same compassion for them as she did for you. Show me how to wipe their faces, serve their needs, and heal their wounds. Reminding me that as I do this for them, I also do this for you. Saint Veronica, pray for me. Amen.